uh, my printer have this problem now uh, it is showing min temp error and it stopped in the middle of the print so I'm just trying to print uh, a light so it is just stopped so uh, it is saying like uh, reset so uh, what I do is just close switch it off and I switch it on so this have a power loss recovery so let's check if it's working or not I say resume print so it's heating up let's see whether it is printing properly or not if it is stopped again I will you can see here again I got the same error so there is a problem with the thermistor uh, this so uh, I'll show you the thermistor extruder one so, so. we'll zoom in a little bit so that I can show you so this is the white color one <coughs> you can see here now so this is the one thermistor see so uh, this problem will come because of the loose contact or you know uh, any one cable is broken uh, of the thermistor so that it will give a so what I'll do is I'll just remove the thermistor and I'll check it whether it is working fine or not or else we have to replace the thermistor for hot end okay so now I will uh, take out the thermistor from its hot end. So I will use the Allen key and I'll use the Allen key. And to remove this screw So this is the thermistor. So we need to check this. Okay, is it okay or not? Okay. So this is the thermistor. We need to check is it okay or not with a multimeter and continue to begin check it. Okay. So I will take out this from cable. Okay, then I'll be back. So oh, I separated the thermistor cable here. So the problem is here. Uh, you can see uh, so this is the one side of the thermistor which will go to the main board, and this is the another side which will go to the hot end. So here, what happened is the I will just zoom in here. You can see here. So this have a loose contact. Okay. So this thermistor will have a two sides in that it has some loose contact because of that what will happen sometimes it will work fine but sometimes it will do an error and uh, uh, it will stop the print means printer will stop working so this is what happened here see this has a loose connection because of that we got the uh, error so to fix this one it's very simple uh, either you can buy this entire uh, thermistor set or else you can buy some thermistors like spare thermistors it is always better to keep some thermistors spare thermistors so that you know, when you have these kind of problems you can use it. I have few 
so okay so so what i will do is uh, i will remove this in this place i will click the new one so it's always a good idea to keep so this won't cost much maybe one dollar you will get it okay so okay these are very common problems in uh, you know uh, 3d printer so you better always keep the space actually i got 10 so i think till now i have used um, maybe four i guess okay so this is like always better to keep space so now uh, we got this one so before we you know um, connect to this just check the resistance um, is it okay or so what i'll do with multimeter i will check the resistance so you can see this be showing somewhere around 77 to 76 I think it is fine so in case if it is showing very lower values again this is also faulty one so it is 100k thermistor so it's showing around 77 I think it's fine let's install and see So uh, this is ready. So I added a little bit of heat sink. So let's see, sink wrap. This I will install inside the extruder. Okay, we'll install that. Now uh, what I will do is I will place this cable inside the sleeve. I will place the inside the sleeve and then I will be back and we can check it whether it is working properly or not. Okay. I will be back. So uh, now I will power on the printer and see. Uh, is it working or not? Yeah, it's showing. See, we have two things. Uh, this is the hot end one and this is the uh, bed one. But I am not using bed, just I connected the thermistor to that. So, it's showing. This, so, it's not showing any uh, error now. So now uh, let's do preheat and uh, let's see is it giving any errors. Oh, again I got error. I will go and check the thermistor what is causing this problem again. So, uh, still I got the error because uh, what I did is so. I just directly connected this, like I directly inserted the thermistor inside the hot end. So I didn't put any uh, shrink wrap here on this, it's like open. Okay, so I tried many times, like uh, just trying to insert like this, but it's not showing any temperature. Then I remember, like, actually, 
where it is going inside the hot end so it will have a transparent uh, shrink wrap so that these two wires won't touch so i tried many times it didn't work then i realized okay we have to uh, add the shrink wrap to this okay so what i did as i have taken some old thermistor shrink wrap and i placed here then i installed so you can see here okay so the transparent shrink wrap okay So I added this and I inserted inside the hot end. Okay. So now we will see whether it is working or not. So make sure you try to add the transparent sleeve to the thermistor, then only it's working. Okay. So that one thing you need to check. Make sure you added the uh, this transparent sleeve. Okay. Both sides of the thermistor. Okay. So now I will power on the 3D printer and let's see, uh, uh, is it you know, working or not. Okay. So now it is showing the temperature like, see, earlier it is showing zero. Okay, so because of uh, that sleeve means uh, without sleeve it's not detecting the temperatures with sleeve and you need to insert the thermistor inside the hot end properly even if you are not inserted properly also uh, it won't read the temperatures so now let's see whether it's working for preheat or not so now i'll go here and Yeah, it's heating up now and we'll see on motherboard so I'm using so MOSFET is on and another motherboard also you can see the light is on okay if thermistor is not installed properly means you don't see these lights and it won't heat up the hot end okay so make sure keep these things in mind and while changing the thermistor make sure you add the transparent sleeve for the thermistor then you insert the in hot end okay thank you very much for watching this video please like this video and please subscribe my channel